All right, YouTube, tonight we're going to play some Legacy uh, Blue Red Delver with a Green Splash. Uh, this deck's based on something that uh, Eric Virgo, I believe that's how you say it, uh, was playing. So we're going to give this a whirl tonight. All right. Uh, this hand is decent. You know, good, not great. So my opponent have a, they mulligan to six cards, okay? I put a card on the bottom, okay. So we hit the F2 button. All right, Misty Rainforest. So this could be a Delver deck, this could be Storm. I think we're just going to brainstorm. Holding out Spell Snare is a little loose. We don't know what's going on. And this is just a shuffle. Okay, hit a land. No rug is more about maintaining 10 versus 3 spells. So, oh, shoot. I got to pull this back out here. I didn't know. Vapor Snags. Yeah. Yeah, this is more, this is less of a Delver deck than Rug is, and it's just more of a Jun deck. Like, you're just trying to, like, basic land, gain some advantage, knock your opponent off. And I, I kind of wanted to brainstorm in response to Spell Pierce, but I think I've got bigger first to fry. I think we're playing against another Delver deck. Okay, we're playing against a Bug deck. All right. I did a video on Bug a little while ago. Him. Spell Snare. And I'm just going to jam this True Name Nemesis. I'm just going to beat this un... Play this dumb 3-1. All right, we're going to let that go because we might be able to get to Daze a Force of Will here. This is a Brainstorm that's either looking for a Force or looking for an Edict. We get to convert our Daze when our Daze was running out of, uh, it's definitely running out of time that it was going to be relevant. They pitched a Baleful Strix. So London rule live. No, it is not. All right. So here goes all of our resources. But we have this three one. They're fetching now. Probably just to play around stifle, I guess. All right. Something. It's not that good right now, but it is something. The scariest thing we can see is like a Liliana of the Veil. Like, Diabolic Edict would suck, but it's like, you know, it's, it's beatable. Him, sure. All right, they hit. I have my force. Draw a blue card. Didn't draw a blue card. I'm going to make my land drop. Because if I make another one, then I've got force turned on. Him. Make you draw a cantrip. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. I just wanted to play the one I knew about, but... All right. A little sketchy playing, just running the Pyromancer out. You don't have anything to do, but like they're they're playing off the top. <coughs> All right. <coughs> okay, I'll keep that. Yeah, because it's better for my cantrips. Concealing the information is likely not is not worth it when I could just improve my 
<laughs> improve what's going on in my deck. Okay, so let's think here. Bolt them to five, hit them, doesn't do anything. Putting them to six. Then makes, it's still like the same clock anyways, so now we can, there's not, no difference between like six and five. Then we put them to two. To the place I belong. Bolt you. We have that full retail force of will. MSRP force. Okay. Did you see my message this morning, Lawrence? Like, I've been playing against these three-color pile decks, and I've had the urge to sideboard in both of these. And then when I when I go to bring in, like, other cards that might be all right, like these, maybe, I end up, like, getting really low on Delver hits. So I was like, do I just board out a Delver? I don't know. This is another maybe. I think I, I know I definitely want these, and I believe I want this. Cards that I'm not wild about. Vapor Snag, I'm not that wild about. I don't really like Fort Bolt, even though it would be nice to pick off a couple Baleful Strix. I think that's just not the battle that I want to fight. <clears throat> A braid's also pretty inefficient. It might kill Leovold, but we got lightning bolts for that. Belster's nice because it hits. Um, it hits like the Planeswalkers and him to Torok. Flusterstorm is not as good. I don't think I want as many of these Force of Wills either because I just don't really want a lot of forces against the him deck. So, like, I could probably easily go something like that. I just don't know. And, like, I was just, like, having a thought about it. Because, like, let's just say... I got a minute left. So, let's go like this. Let's just say that I sideboard like this. Okay? I don't even... I'm not even... I don't even know if they have Wasteland. So, I'm not going to bring in the second drop. But if I sideboard like this... All of a sudden, I'm down to 25 Delver hits. And there's like a, there's some um, merit to having maybe another one of these or another one of these in my deck. So, like, if I do that, I would have to cut, like, maybe it's Lava Mancer, but, like, Lava Mancer can pick off Planeswalkers or Baleful Strix to be able to attack through. So I'm not going to do it, but I, th I think it's just worth thinking about. And maybe it's like I just shouldn't board in these Blood Moons when I have Sylvan Library. Are these Sylvan Li are these Blood Moons should be like Price of Progress. You know, then that also, you know, I don't know. I'm going to uh, Grand Prix Niagara Falls. Uh, I don't really, I really don't ever like cutting days to tell you the truth. Like, I don't know. But I could bring in Blast, but, like, I don't know how many targets he has outside of cantrips. Like, no, I'm getting it from a friend. I definitely could shave a daze, probably. But, like, their deck's full of, like, expensive cards. So if I, if I hit, like, a Wasteland, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm not going to use this fetch land. Just going to play this Delver. And just prepare my body to get hemmed. Um, when it's buying in a legacy that is all about what you want to do, like, <clears throat> I'm not going to tell anybody how to spend their money. That's just not what I'm looking to do. Like if legacy brings you happiness, you have the means to do that. Then you should play it. If you don't have the means to play it or you don't have a community or, you know, it doesn't bring you happiness, then don't do it. Okay, so I think I'm going to Flusterstorm this because Spell Pierce hits Liliana. 
and this makes it so that if my opponent wants to, like, if they have a spell pierce of their own, like, it's likely they have a fluster storm, but if they had, like, their own pierce, then they could they can't pierce my pierce. Yeah, so I saw Deluge in game ones, and my opponent's missing land drops, so we're just going to sit on this Delver. I'm not going to run the true name out until my opponent's, like, we've exhausted at least a little more of their resources. I'm going to spell pierce, like, a cantrip. I might, I, I might fluster storm a cantrip, because I can spell pierce, like, a Liliana. I think this is actually kind of interesting. We have dazes in our deck for Liliana also, like we, we can brainstorm too. So I think I'm just going to spell pierce this. Yeah. And I'm just not, I'm not even going to brainstorm. Like we're not really looking for anything. We're pretty set up here. We're just riding the Delver. <clears throat> that was a draw. I thought this was modern for a second. There's no rag. I can find a worse blue red deck. <laughs> All right. Let's just cut them off. Blue black, I guess. It's always worth buying into Legacy. Yeah. If you have the means to and it makes you happy, you should do it. Get a force? No. I'm not. I, I, I still don't really want to brainstorm. I don't even think I'm going to. Like, because I don't have any protection now, so I might as well brainstorm. Okay. By the way, I've caught a lot of things set up. Oh, nice, Gozak. Card hoarder is great. I'm going to shuffle anyways, so I think I'm just going to spell snare this. I'm not going to be able to spell snare like a uh, abrupt decay, but I'll still be able to spell pierce in abrupt decay. I guess, like, our Spell Pierce and Assassin's Trophy. It's Christian. Cough, cough. I always forget that... I always forget your Twitch name, Christian. Yeah, I meant to say Trophy, Minfer. The other black-green one that I can get. <laughs> that's what that's what I meant to say. But it just came out as abrupt decay. I've said abrupt decay more times than I've said. Yes, you can. It just isn't great. Yeah, dude. I mean, if you don't like cards. I used to play a lot of Locks and On Smiter in Modern. I had people in the twin days that used to remand my Locks and On Smiter. Cinder Vines is like cool. I don't know if it's I don't know. Like it's nice card against combo. It's another shatter. Like it might just be better as an ancient grudge. But it's like an ancient grudge. It's like a shatter that comes. It's also pretty decent against Stoneblade. Like sometimes you just play it against Stoneblade on turn two and like it kind of messes them a little bit. Sorry, not playing against you. I don't understand, Tim. You should play against me, and you should let me concede to you. Jeez, I'm crow. I owe you, like, a win, Tim. You bastard. 
We're doing two leagues tonight because my wife bet me that I wouldn't be awake when she got up from choir. And, like, I have to win the bet. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to keep. We're going to go Island Ponderosa. Looking for a threat. No, two leagues total. I think this is a shuffle. Yeah. Yeah, no, I played a Death Shadow League uh, earlier. This is the old second league of the night. Lotus Petal. Yo, I want to daze this so bad, but I'll just daze the card they use. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think if I don't force this, I'm going to die. Yeah, it's Black Red Reanimator. Got him. So we got two cards out of that. We we traded three we traded three cards for three cards there. But like we have two blanks, so you know we're in a we're in a tough spot still. I'm trying to spell pierce this. This this puts something in the graveyard and digs them. They have more ways to re reanimate than the ways to put things in the graveyard. It's like the best draw in my deck. <coughs> I'm thinking about a, I might send this bolt upstairs at my opponent at the end of the turn. But I might want more cards to brainstorm with also, so I probably won't. Dark Ritual. Reanimate Chancellor. Exhume. Okay. All right. How do I win? I have one Vapor Snag in my deck. I can also just block and trade with it. That seems pretty mopey. I can do that down the road. Gross. This force doesn't do anything, but it will do something next turn. The second Delver... We should be doing okay. Oh, I guess it doesn't do anything because it, it still doesn't do anything because this also taxes creatures. It's not like uh, it's not like Thalia that only does uh, um, it's not Thalia. Okay, so we're going to do 12. So the bolt kills them. So my opponent's actually dead. So maybe I shouldn't have showed them the lightning bolt. Because the lightning bolt just actually, like, says they're dead. So I probably should have set that up differently. Which is worth thinking about.
So now I probably just wait, bolt them, attack, then untap, hold up force of will, untap, bolt them, and attack. That bolt was a nice draw. Should bolt them in a turn. Um, yeah, probably. You're right, Christian. So I should force this. Oh no, I should just spell pierce this. Yeah, because yeah, you're right, Christian. Now I'm in like a predicament here. For that reason. No, I would have had to pay one for force. This dumb chancellor. All right, we're going to try this again. <laughs> yeah, my opponent would have been dead if I had taken the right line. If I had just bolted one more, one turn sooner. But yeah, it, that that's when you reveal it. That's the chancellor um, clause. Okay. Pay yes. All right. This is where my split of graveyard hates a little worse. I played two cages for storm, only one extraction. Um, and I want these to come in. Not interested in that. Not interested in Fork Bolt or Lava Man. Um, not interested in a braid. Um, Cinder Vines is kind of medium, but we probably don't want it. We don't need another land. We probably actually could board out a land. Like go to 18 because we don't have any three drops. And I'll just bring in this Cinder Vines. I think it's better than a land. It might not be. It might not be, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with a land's better than the Cinder Vine. I'm going to bring in the second green land. Yeah, this hands a lot of interaction. There's no clock. I don't think I get mulligan, though. If I get turn one, I get turn one, I guess. Though maybe with a London mulligan, I should be mulliganing a hand like this. But I probably shouldn't think about this. Shouldn't think about that. I would keep this hand on seven on the draw, I think. So I'm going to keep it. And if my opponent turn one to me, they turn one me. There's a peer that I might get turn one to here. Probably take my ponder. <coughs> I took that, okay. So the little lands are always either being consistent. Deck, you have lots of tutors. Key cards make game influential. All right, my opponent's gonna turn one gristle brand. We're good. We are good. Yeah, I'm supposed to mulligan that hand. All right, I'm going to submit. Tutors and the key cards make a lot of games normal. Yeah, that sucks, Tim. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to keep. It's a really good hand. Definitely want to get this library into play next turn. Because library is going to dig me a lot in this match. I'm going to take a lot of damage. 
So my opponent rolled a six. They get to take advantage of this old rule here. Play this. I think I'm fetching up like Valk Trop. All right, I'm going to I'm going to pierce this. Like I would like to be able to daze this, but I really want to play library next turn. I think my opponent's going to have a hard time comboing me off through daze and surgical. <coughs> and this library is going to draw me at least two cards next turn. Okay. Flashing back faith is sitting sure. <coughs> I'm dumping a lot of resources into this. Cabal therapy. I could just daze this therapy, which I think I'm going to do. Therapy is going to name force or surgical, and then, like I get something out of my days, and then I make them use another card to deal with this to get this surgical, or they have to use another card like to either get the surgical. That's a nice draw. Always yield. Always yes. Pay for. Pay for. I'm not going to get hemmed. I don't really want to play Pyromancer either now that I got Flusterstormed. Uh, Flusterstormed, so I'm just going to wait a turn. I'm just going to Flusterstorm this. Though if I just Surgical the Gristlebrand, what are they going to do? What are they going to name? If they name a threat, then I'm going to feel a little dumb. I'm only going to be able to hold up one of these next turn, so I'm just going to fire this off. This might be loose, but like... I would like to have the surgical trade for a card. Look at his right gear. So let's get rid of this. <coughs> Alright, so they have Animate Dead and Exhume. Animate Dead is an issue. So let's go here. But they need to, we just counter the way that they get the fatty into the yard and we'll be okay. Okay. Is everything as designer as it should be? All right, we get to wasteland them. So I can go wasteland, play Delver, which. Honestly, is, is what we're going to do. So I'm going to put this on top to flip to Delver. Pay for keep in hand. This means they can't draw a land to cast their thing and a thing to put it into the grave. They can't. Yeah, they're just like in a lot of trouble here. Um, No, I played against Black Red and... Nothing else that degenerate. The spell snare is also a nice inclusion. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to put on top. I don't need any more threats. <coughs> I'm just going to pass. I'll fetch. <clears throat> Just play conservative. There's nothing. I'm going to go put on top, put on top, attack. 
Now I can play Pyromancer with two things up. <clears throat> My opponent doesn't have any way to deal deal me direct damage, so All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, two and L. Two and L, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play face up, where our opponent gets a bunch of free information, but we get the leverage of our game. Yay, the card advantage. How have they taken that away, Tim? I played against some of my modern lead, Rafi. I played against Tron twice. I played against Is It Phoenix once. I played against Cheerios once. And I played against Abzan. <clears throat> yeah, I like this deck. I think this is what I'm going to play at Niagara. I don't know if I'm going to play this exact list. Like, I don't know if I need this extra trop. I kind of would like this extra trop against Death and Taxes when I bring in, like, these three green cards, four green cards. Well, I haven't, ex I haven't fixed the extension. Let me do that. Let me get the deck list up here. Get on the cardboard live. Phil Lish. Clear deck and start over. Streaming magic online. Upload. And I'll keep this hand. Kind of got to hope here a little bit. Like this is one of those where we could just get wrecked. But, you know. So I might just wasteland that. What are we playing against? I really don't want to play my Delver and get it bolted. So I'm just going to wasteland that in their upkeep. I don't want to get stifled. I get stifled today. I mean, we're going to get stifled here regardless, but like we don't want to give them two mana on their turn. All right, now they would have to crack a fetch land to bolt my Delver, which I'm kind of okay with. Let's play our Delverino. Talking about my Delver deck. I would like to stop drawing lands though, like that would be sweet. If we could just do that, I would appreciate it. I assume, oh, okay, we're playing against a blue, white, red deck. Moto's a little laggy. All right, so we're probably playing against, like, Miracles or a Stoneblade deck with blue in it, with red in it. Please don't do that. Stoneblade don't stick. Okay. That's dead. <laughs> Super weak to a true name nemesis. <clears throat> Don't true name me, bro. I'm just like I'm cold to this true name if this thing resolves. And with a jit in play, we're gonna hit that old right click concede button. Yeah, this jet's gonna body me. Choose not shuffle. All right, I'm just gonna play both my creatures. I don't have anything else going on. And we gotta start to put a hurt on our opponent. I should have tapped the left the blue land untapped. Don't true name me, bro. Maybe this is like a blue, white, red stone blade deck or Delver deck. So you know three out of the four cards. The reward of going to turn six seven doesn't set up as many as this.
Uh, one, so you can show black, red. <clears throat> well, do they may have counter spell? I'm gonna go with no. I think they're like a Delver deck. If, if they've got like this many Valks, I think they're a Delver deck, and this is like a Force of Will. Okay. So we are officially ahead on the true name battle. Don't true name me. Okay. I can deal with that. I do have to end this game fast, though. That's going to help out. That's what this deck's turned into. Like, it's just like a true name nemesis deck that's got four Delvers in it to just make sure that you can beat combo decks or have a chance against combo decks. <clears throat> I wish I could counter that. The fumble, return target creature, and gain control of all auras and equipment that were attached to that. Hmm. <coughs> I might vapor snag my own pyromancer here. How's it going, Tim? Anything else? I'll trade for this plow and make a token. I don't think I'm getting much out of my vapor snag besides bouncing a batter skull token. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Tim. I am not Tim. Oh, I thought you said, hey, Dylan, I'm Tim. All right, so we traded two for two and got a token. All right, if we, like, not do that, that would be great. Bang. My god, I love Spell Snare. Alright, Force Plus Move card. I think they're just dead, though. Because even if they go get Batter Skull, I guess they can, like, equip their equip their Jet to their Stoneforge Mystic. To, like, to keep alive. They're just blocked? No, that's so mopey. I should make them attack because then they can just put the batter skull in. Alright, we're in trouble. I am in trouble. If you'd not draw any more lands, that would be good. <clears throat> I'm going to lose this race. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just not playing around Bolt. Maybe I'm supposed to not. The problem is if I don't, like, by me attacking them, it makes my opponent not be able to put the batter skull into play. So I don't know. Okay, they were a Delver deck. You know the vapor snag was kind of loose. All 
All right, we're running out of time here. Like, this jet's actually just going to beat me. <clears throat> I don't think I was supposed to fetch there. Because if I if I draw a brainstorm, I want to fetch land. I want to fetch these two cards away. I think just like willy nilly fetch landing is is not is not really what I want to be doing, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's looks like we're on the same page. Okay. So now we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, okay. Lightning bolt. Fork bolt. Fork bolt's got to do it, right? Like how much they, they can gain six life. Is the fork bolt actually not good enough? They can gain six life. <clears throat> well, I can just take the fork bolt and then shuffle. So they gain six, take three. So they gain three, they go to four. I basically just like need a true name nemesis. Yeah, this fork bolt doesn't do anything. Looking for a brainstorm or a true name. Yeah, I need brainstorm. I need lots of lightning bolts. This is a very unfortunate game to lose, which is kind of how it feels like it's going to be. <coughs> so now this batter skull is coming into play. So I really need a true name. Maybe I shouldn't have been attacking, but I don't know. Now the batter skull is gonna come into play. Yeah, where I think I think we're dead as a doorknob. This game looked very, very good for the home team. And the dollar flips, so they can just move this over. Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. <clears throat> okay. So we have a shatter, we have another shatter. Those cinder vines might not be what I'm looking for here. Um, we've got revs. I've also got another land that I could board up to. So I definitely want the, I would definitely want this. Cards that I don't want. I don't want spell pierce. Fork bolt's okay. Grim Lava is okay. Vapor snag's not okay. So I can go like this. I think I think bringing in Blood Moon against a Delver deck is not good because like if they're already ahead on board, you know what I mean.
We don't need all of our forces. We can get a fluster storm in there. The Cinder Vines is just a shatter that's going to help us win a race. It is, it is a shatter. I'm going to try it. We're a little lower on Delver hits. We, we, we boarded up to 20 lands. <clears throat> I'm going to try this. I don't think Blood Moon's like... It's just like three mana to not affect the board is just like, it's a lot. <clears throat> no, I will keep. It's a pretty solid hand. I don't know. This is like, I've only played like, this is like my fourth league with this deck. I don't know. I feel like three mana that doesn't deal damage to my opponent, or if like my opponent has a board, is just like not good. Yeah, we're not playing against Stoneblade, right? We're playing against a Delver deck. Sat around for about four minutes expecting you. I'll do my first battle wings. <laughs> I'm gonna fetch an island. Like, I don't want to get wasted. And, like, the Brainstorm will find us our red source. All right. price <clears throat> all right so now we're gonna waste our opponent our dollar is gonna flip because we're professional nope shoot all right our dollar is not gonna flip but I am gonna waste my opponent and then I'm gonna play my own delver I accidentally hit the flip button then pass I might get a little upkeep brainstorm action here. Our opponent drew a plow. I'm just going to let this go. I'm not going to brainstorm my upkeep because we only have one Delver. All right, we did draw days. So let me attack, and then I will brainstorm. Yeah, but well, Blood Moon's not good against Delver either, right? All right, nice. So let's keep at least one of these true names. Days plus force is nice here. We're going to pitch. So when I said keep one of our true names, I meant keep it as a pitch card. I would like 
to have the true name that's two cards down do something at some point. I'm gonna like daze a stone forge mystic and probably fight. I want to daze this, and I'm going to. I've already wasted them once. Like they could be suckering me in here to kill my Delver, but then my Pyromancer's free. Well, that kind of sucks for me because they get to make a little, they still get to make a land drop. If my opponent dazes my pyromancer, then I'm going to then I'm going to force because if I don't force, then my pyromancer. I guess eh, the problem is that a stoneforge mystic is just so bad for the home team. Well, they're two turns off it if they daze, so I think I'm just going to force to get this pyromancer through. We're ahead on the battlefield. I am going to force a Stoneforge Mystic, though. I want to force this so bad. The true name's not doing anything. I've got another true name on top of my deck. I'm going to keep this Pyromancer around. Crack for six. Then hopefully there's like a land on top of our deck. So we can play this Nemesis. Skull. Okay, so if I just attack, I'm just gonna attack with everything, because if they block here, they go to, they take five, and then they're dead to the Delver, and then I think I'm just, I'm just gonna play another Delver. If they go to Overlord and Electricery, they're still dead. Do need this Delver to flip though, because then we've got him through a removal spell or a land. Okay. So now I don't attack with Pyromancer. Okay. Whew. Tight game. <coughs> okay. On the draw. I had 61 cards in my deck. Oh, shit. I'm going to cut the Cinder Vine on the draw. I think it's just going to be too slow. That was a very tight second game. Two good games. Two really good games. Okay, um, this is a super mana hungry hand. We have two brainstorms and a fluster storm. 
Okay, I'm going to keep. We have a lot of lands, which is good. Yeah. It's really sketchy getting into a life point for card thing when Trunian Nemesis is in the category. When Trunian Nemesis is in the equation. I might be, maybe I should have mulliganed this hand, but... That's a nice draw, because now we've got Stoneforge Mystic covered in a couple different ways. And I think I want to, I might brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn, which is kind of sacrilege, but I do have to start converting these brainstorms and my other cards into something else. This doesn't look like a Delver flip to the home team here. All right, nice. <coughs> I have a lot of answers to that Delver. I've got four bolts, a fourth bolt, and a braid is six. Two blasts is eight. Not to, I have a Lava Mancer, which is like a slower version. My opponent's lagging, they're saying. Please turn. I would like to brainstorm before I choose whether to force a, not, a Stoneforge Mystic, because if I hit a Daze, it's a lot better for me. But if I brainstorm, then I can't fluster storm. So I'll probably just pitch a force. Okay. Let this go. This means that Delver's going to flip. So we're going to have to make sure... We're going to have to make sure that we, we can do something about it. some good games. All right, I'm going to have brainstorm. Don't stifle me, bro. Don't stifle me, bro. I just need to like not get tempoed out of this game. This is like not a great play, but I just want to make sure that I can convert my cards. And if they counter this, they counter this. All right, we're not converting. Put this wasteland. Well, probably I could use the, the wasteland more than I could use the Valk. Now the other, the alternative option is I could set my opponent back. Could just waste them. And then I clear the Valk next turn. I think I like doing that the least. I think I kind of want to fetch a Valk. And then brainstorm looking for a way to deal with this. Alternatively, I can just take a hit. I can just waste them and then I can take a hit and see one new card off the brainstorm, which I, which I think I like. I think it would be good to like establish a mana advantage. Which we're going to get. We just have to find, I mean, like I said, I've got eight ways to kill this thing. I'm going to force a will. Okay. Let me shuffle that away. Okay. I'm going to force pitch true name because <clears throat> the fluster storm will make it so my force gets, gets through. I might fluster storm a cantrip here after we wasteland them. No, now I'm not going to fluster storm a cantrip. So now we're going to draw the Valk. 
play a scalding tarn and brainstorm. All right, well now we're in trouble. I'm gonna put one of these lesser storms back. This is gonna be a tough one to win. This Delver is gonna give us give me the business. <coughs> Wasteland from our opponent. Okay. What do we got? <clears throat> All right, I kind of want to go Force of Will pitch True Name because the Spell Snare by hit Stoneforge Mystic. The True Name's not winning me the game until I deal with this Delver. So I think I'm just going to pitch the True Name. We have three more in our deck, too. So... We have Fluster Storm back up here. We're in a little bit of trouble. Like, this game's going to come down to it. Like, if we find a Bolt to kill this, and then we, if we, like, draw a Lightning Bolt. And I think I'm going to go fetch a Valk because I'm okay. I'm going to Wasteland my opponent, then I'm okay with my opponent Wastelanding me to keep each other off True Name Nemesis. What did they pitch? They pitched a ponder. Okay, so this gets around days. They basically need another force of well. And if they have another force of well, then I'm just dead. We use F6 to the turn now. All right, they got it. Because we're not going to beat the resolved. We, we This deck, the problem with blue-red is it's not being a resolved true name. We're hitting Grudge. Yeah, we didn't have, I mean, we had a blast coming. So even if we dealt this with this, we wasted them. They wasted us. We go to seven. We fetch, go to six, and then we blast this. And we still don't have anything going on. So that was a good match. That was a really good match of magical cards. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to mulligan my initial hand. I don't know. I don't want to view the replay. No, no, no. No. I'm going to go back to my match. All right, we're good. <clears throat> yeah, my hand's pretty good. It's got a little bit of everything. We can get wasted off red. That's life. That is the life we live. Island. Delver. Okay. We're just going to, hopefully we don't get wasted off red here. 
I'm gonna deal with this now because if I day if they daze, I get to daze back and protect my red source. I'm gonna bolt it. I might be able to clean up a little extra with this fork bolt at some point. I'm playing it's blue red, so I probably they might have Terramander, they might have Pyromancer. Okay, so we're gonna get wasted. Sounds good. I'm gonna flush storm anything. <clears throat> Get that brainstorm out of my face. No brainstorm. <laughs> Row, row. At least we know we're not gonna get wastelanded. It's like my opponent's not resolving a true name. But we're not doing anything. <clears throat> My next dual land is gone. No. I'm gonna ditch spell pierce. Ditch days, excuse me. All right, my opponent is stacking up the lands. Really don't want to get dazed. I think we're just gonna pass. All right, well now we can get double wastelanded. That kind of sucks. But we'll get on the battlefield at least. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna fight over this pyromancer also, because like there's there's no guarantee that we get to keep our stuff. Now the TNN I can get days. Oh, this is stupid. I should have I should have done I should have left the island untapped. Just wasn't thinking. I should have left my island untapped. This is the fight we're going to have. All right. All right, that worked out. <clears throat> then my opponent's going to jam a true name. <clears throat> Jeez, that actually worked. I gotta waste my red source, right? Yeah. What do I put have? Oh, Terry? That makes sense.
One, two, three. Should I offer? I think I want to offer this trade because I don't have any spells yet. And one, two, three. Not going to be long before my opponent can let, adapt that Terramander and that thing's going to be a problem. So if they want to trade here, they can trade. I'm going to get to two more things in play. If not, I can at least kind of work on the race here. At least Terry's not getting adapted this turn. No. All right. Pyro down. One, two, three, four. Jeez. Okay, so Terry's getting evolved next turn. So I really need a red source off the top here. Oh my God, please. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm, I'm like, that thing's gonna outrace me. Oh man, if we'd hit the red source, we'd have just smoked both of those things. Okay, so we want in a mirror, we want this, this. I don't have many cards to bring in the mirror, which might be something I have to work on. Because, like, I want to get the spell pierces out. And this vapor snag is not great. Like, maybe you can get, like, some tempo off Terramander, but we already have so many ways to deal with Terramander. I don't mind boarding up another land, but I don't really love it. I guess I can leave it in there. I might gain some. Maybe I'll bounce a Delver or something like that. Like maybe Staticaster. I don't really want to play the Library Plan. I think I need one more card for Del for a Delver deck in this sideboard. Maybe this should just be a Vendillion Click. I can bring in Click in the Mirror. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm like super excited about that or not. I just don't have enough cards to bring in. JD is nice and there's four true names. So maybe I should put a JIT in my sideboard. The problem is it's so slow and clunky. I guess you're like saying you're paying four mana to impact, not impact the board is kind of wrong because you are impacting the board as soon as you attack with your Umazawa's Jete. It's like, I'm going to deal combat damage to you. But oh my God, if you put it on something that's not a true name, they just like bolt it. You just, and just vomit. Fibble Fip with a follow, nice. All right, looks like they're done sideboarding. I've had like two really good Delver matchups. Uh, I'm gonna keep, I mean, I'm not like super pumped about this hand. Probably have to force a Delver on turn one. Another thing like Spell Snare is not great in these mirrors. So I probably should have shaved on this. I probably should have mulliganed this hand because spell mirrors. I definitely need to add more cards for Delver mirrors in the sideboard of this deck. I just don't feel like I have enough. And like Spell Snare only hits Pyromancer. Which isn't great. Hopefully they just jam. Just pink. I 
I just have to like force this because like I don't have anything going on, and this Delver is gonna kill me. Why wouldn't they play a land? They must not have a land. They only have one land. All right, so we're gonna counter a cantrip. They also don't have a way to kill our Delver. <clears throat> All right, well. I get some of that fluster storm action. Same targets. All right, my Delver's going to live to fight another day. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to let that one go because we have our own Delver. Tilt. I'm going to go get a mountain. All right, nice. So let's just flip. Flip to the ponder, keep force plus blue card, deal with that. <clears throat> there's, I guess there's an argument for not even blasting that and just looking to blast a true name and then force a little backup because we're in a little bit of trouble to like true name with force backup here, but they'd have to draw the land for it as well. I unfortunately don't think that I can counter that with two cards. Chose not to shuffle. Don't bolt my Delver. Okay. Hopefully this means my Delver's living. We are behind resources. We were on the play and we did force. I don't think we can afford to fight that fight there. I think I'm going to keep this. I think the brainstorm next turn is better than a random draw. I think I'm gonna smell my, sell my car and get a place out of vaults. I think I'm gonna shuffle my library before I brainstorm, which might brainstorm lock me. But I know that one of my cards underneath is bad. Unless we're just going to sit and wait. Because my brainstorm gets blasted and then I'm locked. Well, I'm not locked. I'm going to wait one more turn. It's going to make my brainstorm better.
and the turns big brain I do my best I do my best there's two cards on top geez that's scary bang my opponent blasts this I'm gonna let it go I'll just put both of these back. Or I can put back this and this and play Pyromancer and then have Force plus Blue card followed up by True Name. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. The problem with that. You know what, I'm going to put back Pyromancer. I'll put back Pyromancer, Force of Will. Play my land. Play True Name. Daze this Blast. Draw the Pyromancer and then fetch. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work like I wanted it to. We got a force out of their hand, but now we're like naked to a true name from them. And do I want this Pyromancer? I think this Pyromancer is better than a random draw. I do have to make sure to fetch because we don't want the force. Chain Lightning. All right, well, if they cast Chain Lightning, I can Chain Lightning back the Delver. That's so bad. So dead. All right, we have to fetch. I'll just get another island. I'll just get a bulk. Rut row. This will be these will be two interesting games to go rewatch. So I think I'm gonna lose this one, and then kind of see like what went wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to board in my Staticaster. All right. Well, there's something. So I know my opponent has a chain lightning. I have plenty of answers to this Delver left in my deck. We're at like seven. Yeah. All right, I gotta can't let this get on the battlefield. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to do this in the upkeep. Let's just do it now while they have less mana. All right. Don't draw anything. Okay. No. Oof. Tough way to end it. Lost two Delver Mirrors there. This kind of feels feels a little bad. I need more. I need some more cards to bring in for the mirror. Like I don't have enough. Like this probably has to go. Maybe this has to go as well. I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right. Well, this hands, you know, it's magic. Computer's getting a little laggy. I probably should have restarted it at some point. I've been going for three hours and nine minutes, and I haven't started my computer over yet. Oh, I need to put my chat up. What went on with that? Show chat. Are we playing against Dredge? I'm just, like, not interested in playing against Dredge. All right. All right. Nether Shadow. Put it onto the battlefield. All right, I see what's going on. I see it. See it, and I don't like it. Want this, this, this. Um, probably library. This comes out. Favor snag comes out. I think spell snare comes out. True name's not that good. I could bring in like a red blast. So red blast hits like breakthrough and narcomiba, but I don't really think that's what I want to be doing. They're not gonna mess with my lands. I could like cut. Nah, we're just gonna go with this. Definitely getting a little tired. This will probably. I'm not not terribly sad this is this is how we might go out here yeah i mean we got a force in a daze like i think i think his hand's like hard to send back the sad thing is you have to force like led uh I'm going to keep this. I'm going to try this. Because, like, we're likely going to spend a lot of resources, and the library will gas us back up. Oh, they're just discarding. All right. I could have brainstormed for a for a force of will for for like two one of my two cages or a surgical there but i only saw one i only saw two cards now next turn i can do the same thing and we're still okay and i get to see like a many many more cards oh you one back you need one second while i just got home All right, well, we're going to daze this. All 
My opponent's got an imp in the graveyard. All right, pay for, pay for. All right, so I could, I probably should start flipping this Delvers. So I'm gonna put back Island Lightning Bolt. Play this. Play Delver. Next turn, plan to like wasteland them. Hopefully, they don't go nuts here. All right, they didn't really go nuts. Another Narcomy was kind of annoying. Could also bolt my own Delver to get rid of the bridges. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, my plan didn't seem to work out. All right, forcing that. All right, I have to figure out how I'm winning. It's like, might as well put this back, put this back. I can, like, bolt my Delver to exile the bridges. But I think I'm definitely just going to wasteland this. Let me put this back. Problem is I'm not looking at any new cards doing this, which isn't good. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I think I've got a wasteland this Coliseum here. I should have done my my attacking. I don't really want to attack or block because I don't want to give them a two one yet. So I'll I'll block. I don't know. I, I'm pretty unsure of myself of my, at the moment. They have double therapy. Yeah, I'm just dead. Because they're just going to make a bunch of tutus. Rip my hand apart. All right. Scooping it up. I'm tired anyways. Uh, we're going to send you guys. Let's go back to the deck here. Um, I got beat up in a couple of Delver mirrors, which I think... I think I need a couple more cards in the deck for Delver Mirrors. Um, so, like, probably, like, this has to go. Maybe this has to go. And I've got to get something that's good in the mirrors. Like, maybe we're supposed to board in Staticaster in the mirror. I don't know. But I'm a bit tired. So, I'm going to send you all over to Drake Sasser. Um, so, I hope that everyone has a good rest.